Welcome back, everybody. We're here in Meadville, Pennsylvania at Haggy's Taxidermy. Uh, I'm picking up the buck that I shot this year that I called Wells. He's got it all done. It's uh, the beginning of April, and he did an absolutely fantastic job on it. Uh, super happy with the work. I'll get some video of him right here. This is Winston. He's the owner of Haggy's Taxidermy, and he does all the work in here. Did an awesome job on Wells. As you guys, last time you guys seen him, he was very dead, but he's back to life now. You can see he was able to rebuild those two uh, points that were broken off right there in the front. Did an absolutely awesome job on it. Looks extremely good. One of the things that I was telling Winston about that I really was I was wondering about on my way here was if we'd be able to see that that scar he had on his nose and sure enough you can see it plain as day there just like just like it was the day I shot him he does awesome work on turkeys he just uh, has that one drying right there look at the spurs on this thing they're absolutely huge that's what we're gonna be looking for in a few weeks but he did this full body mount of uh, that's a buck he actually killed Last last year, right, Winston? Uh, 2020. 2020. 160-inch deer. That thing is no joke. There's some really cool mounts that he's... These are still dry, and he's got some finish work to do to these, but these are like pack mounts that I think are really popular nowadays. I see them online all the time. He does a awesome job on those. These ones are still drying over there, too, aren't they? Yep. All, all of them here are still drying. Um... They take a lot longer to dry than a regular shoulder mount since you have the whole hide in there that needs to dry so it takes about five weeks for them to come fully dry and then you can do all the finish work on Winston, you graduated from uh, tax Sherman school in 2020, right? Yep, so I graduated high school um, spring of 2020 and I moved down to Punxsutawney, PA uh, for tax Sherman school the next day. I uh, stayed down there for his Mark Jordan summer course and uh, graduated in eight weeks, came home, and then I started remodeling everything in here. Um, just used to be an old storage shop, kind of. Uh, we used to do some butchering in here. And then I pretty much redid everything, new shiplap, new wiring, spray foam insulation to really turn it into my brand new workshop. Yeah, it looks really good. It looks, has a nice like cabin feel to it, you know? Yeah, really outdoorsy. Um, you need a nice wood stove in here. That might be the next thing I'm going to get for the winter heat. Uh, I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah, you got plenty of wood outside you could burn probably, you could find. <laughs> yep, just going to go in the wood and cut some and split it all. So these ones are ones you just finished up as well, Winston? Yep, so this is all my second batch here. Um, finished all these up this week or late last week. My first batch was all done, which was about 15 or 20 shoulder mounts beginning of March. Um, then I started working on some other things to fill some time while these were drying. Uh, I like to stay pretty busy and get a turn good turnaround times for everybody. You uh, do hydro dipping and do just about everything, don't you? Yep, I do hydro dipping. That's the only one that's in here. I had, you know, 16 others um, that are on my Instagram. If anybody wanted to check those out. Yeah, I'll put uh, I'll put his Instagram right there at the base of the video. There, you can go give him a follow and. Uh, keep track of what he's working on you usually when you're done with whatever critter you're working on you post a picture of it don't you yep usually most of them not saying every buck gets a picture you know when you're dealing with about 85 or so but you know definitely get some pictures on there of i'd say 20 or 25 percent of the ones i've done yeah you're doing awesome work it looks like to me i'm certainly happy with my deer and it looks like everybody's going to be happy with theirs as well that one's got some serious scarring on his face too. He does. Yep, couple of fighter. Good fighters in here that good warriors coming back to life. Yep. What's your favorite part of doing taxidermy, Winston? What would um, you say? Really if I get the chance to do something for a little kid, it's always the best. Uh, I did a couple Europeans for you know a little girl who was 12 and just the excitement on her face when she came to pick it up mm -hmm. like met the world and i did this little spike for another kid who was about eight or nine his first ever buck and i received a couple pictures of him that night just holding that deer for 
<laughs> two hours and wouldn't let it go. You that's know, awesome. So that's probably the best, the best part. Yeah. That's one of my favorite parts about like uh, the youth hunt and stuff too. It's so fun watching those kids, you know, kill their first turkey or experience that for the first time. Yeah, it's definitely kids. Kids enjoyment just uh, nothing can make you happier. I have a bunch of nieces and nephews that run around and always in here, and they always love seeing what's going on and what's new. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's kind of like a museum, really, to a lot of people that would come in here. Yeah, you know, depending on what time you come. In here, the time of the year, you know, you can see deer, the bear, you know, the fishers, fox. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah, I was able to, uh, as soon as I killed Wells, I brought him, I believe it was the same night, and Winston was able to, uh, you know, cape the deer out and do everything right on the spot, right when I brought it here. And uh, the service was awesome. I didn't, you know, I just had to send him a few pictures of those stickers that were coming out so he could rebuild them. And, uh, you know, I don't have anything bad to say about Peggy's taxidermy. He did a did a fantastic job, and uh, if you're in the Meadville, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania area, or even you know Western New York, it's not a far drive at all. I'm not in focus right now, but now I'm in focus. Uh, it was about an hour and 15 minutes from Climber to here, which isn't too bad a drive. It's a nice drive. It's all country and. Uh, I would recommend giving them a try if you've got a critter you want some taxidermy work done. Two, Winston's your man. Yeah, and anybody who sees this video and uh, comes to me and either says they saw this video or um, just use a promo code saying of just Heggy2020, um, I'll give you 10% off any amount you want. Um, Heck just yeah. A bonus in there. Heggy2020, I'll put it uh, in the description below. So if you forget, just Tell them that you've seen it from KEO Vlogs and 10% uh, off is a heck of a deal. So if you get a $1,000 bear rug done, 900 bucks. Can't beat it.